How you doing out there in cyberspace? This is John Wayne Mercure, the son of Tear, in beautiful Chandler, Arizona. It's a paradise here. You love it here. You ought to come and visit. I've written several sonnets about mothers. And this one is number 1,152 in honor of my hero, William Shakespeare. Uh, he amazes me. Anyway, the name of this sonnet is, I like mothers, mothers, always be kind to your mother. And I'm talking to some of you guys out there, you're mean to your mothers. To some of you ladies, you're mean to your mothers. And I'm telling you, you only have one mother. Steven Spielberg had a movie, a terrific 1998 movie, Saving Private Ryan. And Saving Private Ryan was, it's a good movie of the hideous carnage of World War II. Japan and Germany were the evil ones. Critics complain, what good is it showing all that war stuff, this foolish, that's ignorant chatter, uh, all those guys died, and so what? Idiots don't understand. What if we'd lost this disaster? What if we'd lost a Second World War? If Germany and Japan had won, most of us would not even be living. We'd be dead. This was a world struggle for freedom to keep from dying. We have to save our children and our families and our mothers and our wives and each other. We have to do it. No one wants war, yet we must be strong. That's the best way to avoid war. Be strong. No more Pearl Harbors. No more Two Towers. We get caught with our pants down. Those people will kill women and children. Those are animals. Nobody can be like that. Can't we just be human beings? So human rabbits and sheep, we, we got to be strong because we don't want to have human beings like rabbits and sheep shuttled and, and pushed into uh, gas chambers. I think of us doing that to somebody, 3,000 at a time? What? Cram them in there like sardines and screaming, and, 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 and I, I don't. I get a graphic description, but how can human beings do that to each other? Well, jealousy won in that movie, Saving Private Ryan at the Academy Awards. Some stupid other movie won a Picture of the Year. You can't convince me in that movie that the Italians, that the Germans didn't speak Italian. I'm sure a few of them did. It's just, it's just a, 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 a the fix is in. The Academy didn't want Tom Hanks to have his third Oscar. That's what it was, pure naked jealousy. Too bad, Tom, you deserved it. In this splendid movie, the medic in that movie, Saving Private Ryan, is talking about his mother. That's what this sonnet is about, mothers. When he remembers his mother, this soldier, she was working so hard, she suffered. She was a single mother. She came home so exhausted. She wanted to talk to him. He's like 12 years old. And he ignored her. He ignored her. He didn't know why he ignored her. He pretended he was asleep. Now, he lay dying with lethal wounds from a German machine gun. Bullets had ripped out his guts. And he's screaming in pain. And his blood is everywhere. And they're trying to save him. How he screamed and whimpered for his mother. Mama. 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 His body was broken. Have you ever heard a big, tough soldier ever crying out for his father? Dad, dad, dad. It's a mother. It's a mother. Believe it. It's the love and sweet touch of a mother that matters in the end. A mother carries us for nine arduous months, like the Virgin Mary carried Jesus. She is a part of us, our very flesh. A father is important. But at our death, it is our mother that we honor. In the great movie of 310 to Yuma, with Russell Crowe, a great movie, a good Western. Anyway, uh, Ben Wade, that's Russell Crowe. He throws Peter Fonda off a cliff, and he, he's dead from that. Because he told him, he says, he's throwing him off a cliff. He said, you never could keep your mouth shut. Even bad guys love their mothers, and he threw him off the cliff. Why? Because he insulted his mother. Bad guys love their mothers, too. Our mothers are special to us. They're sacred, even, or they should be. Beloved beyond almost all things in our lives. They're sent to us from heaven. Be kind to your mother. Be good to her. Stepmothers as well. They do love us. They love us. And all the terrible stories about wicked stepmothers, regardless, that's just, I don't know, that, that's wicked, just saying that about stepmothers. Your father must have loved them. Can't you love them too or respect them too? Maybe you can honor them too. A little respect wouldn't hurt. Here's to all mothers. God bless you. 
for your love so very true. I know some people hate their mothers. Is that really you? What does that say about you? Is that really you? Is that the true you? What does that say about you? Maybe you could do better. Maybe you could do better because it's not easy being a parent, especially when there's no money. About time you really grow up and mature, you might respect her more once you see what she went through. My mother was a saint, but her life in the 40s, I'm an old man, was rough. And then in the 30s was rough. And we forget. And I'm just telling you, you've got to love your mothers. And some of you don't. And I'm telling you, I, I was a fool because I probably read the book of Ruth, the chapter Ruth, 50 times. And the very last verse says, hey, it says, hey, don't you ever show up at your mother-in-law's house without a present. What? you got to get along with your mother-in-law. you got to be, that's the mother of your lady. And guys don't like their mother-in-laws. Of course she wants the best for her son. Of course she wants the best for her daughter. And she's got to fight for them because she loves them. And that, this, this, this sonnet about mothers, I got other sonnets because I love mothers. And I hope you love yours. And all you mothers out there, I hope they, they get, this gets you presents. Give your mother presents. Tell her, I, I love you, mother. Thank you. My mother's in heaven. I thank her every day. <coughs> Thanks for listening. Mais amis, au revoir.